According to Grail Kaufman's the Christian Science Monitor, DACA, also known as the Deferred Actions of Childhood Arrivals Program, grants temporary protection to about 800,000 undocumented people who were brought into the U.S. as children and allows them to apply for work permits and college slash university admissions. Nowadays, undocumented students are more comfortable sharing their status now than in previous years, according to Kaufman's journal. A public poll to determine who supports DACA shows that 86% of people supported the policy. Not everyone has the same opinion on that matter, such as a writer named Judy Lacey, who stated those who enter our country legally expect to be handed free pass, simply take jobs to which they know they're not legally entitled and still have the goal to complain that America is not doing enough for them. To counteract this, many universities are declaring themselves a sanctuary campus for DACA students. This includes offering additional counseling support, legal advice, and such or establishing funds to help students who qualify for DACA. For example, ECSU, a public school in Willimantic, Connecticut, houses about 104 DACA recipients and just over 4,000 full-time undergraduate students overall. With both institutional and personal support available, students from states where undocumented residents face significant barriers to obtain an education have been welcomed by ECSU. There they can access scholarships funded by the Dream US and find a unique institutional support system. Brought to the United States as a child, many dreamers know very little to nothing about the country they may be deported to. As Jose Manuel's 24 states, I wouldn't even know how to get around Mexico right now. I have no sense of how things work there. That's why at the time, President Obama created the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals in order to give these undocumented immigrants a chance to relieve themselves from deportation and allowing them to be a part of the American society. However, current President Trump is deciding to end DACA now, resulting in many protests and boycotts from heartbroken young undocumented immigrants in which they will lose their temporary work permits as well as the question of whether or not they will continue to qualify for a driver's license and in-state institution for colleges and universities. However, although this topic is highly debatable, debatable a poll by morning consult in april found that only 14 percent of registered voters favored deporting dreamers and 78 percent said they should be allowed to stay with most saying they should be giving a path to citizenship having trump express his sympathy for daca recipients and promise to deal with them at heart which left those protesting feeling particularly betrayed resulting in the battle to keep daca to contradict many others Viewpoint, some people in the U.S. consider that immigration is illegal, so why are we protecting them with DACA? As Judy Lacey believes that immigrating to the U.S. is not handed freely, another person by the name of David Benkoff with the Daily Caller believes that illegal immigrants in their arrogance have shown they believe our immigration rules do not apply to them. They have jumped the line, basically stealing a chance at a better life from millions of people around the world who would like to live in America. Because DACA provides work for many undocumented immigrants, many American citizens are very opinionated as to why the government should get rid of DACA simply because of the U.S. citizen unemployment rate. As previous president and our new president both believe that DACA program is unconstitutional, it has been looked at by Congress as being very similar to the DAPA program, also known as the Deferred Actions for Parents of Americans, which allows parents of children born in America to be protected from being deported. As this is still an ongoing controversy throughout America, the decision whether or not to have DACA will ultimately be up to Congress, not to the president or the people. DACA was designed to give stability to people whose undocumented status is no fault of their own. Since Obama created the program by executive action in August 2012, about 800,000 people have received permits that allow them to live and work in the U.S. without fear of deportation. Political leaders have different opinions on dreamers. According to the National Public Radio in cooperation, 57% of Republicans think President, President Trump made the right decision on ending DACA, while Democrats believe that giving just young adults a chance to succeed is the right way to go. Critics of President Trump's proposal have expressed concerns about the humanitarian crisis of deporting thousands of people to a country that they don't know. There's limited time until DACA recipients are eligible for deportation. A comprehensive bill is not possible at this time because of congressional realities. At the end, our system should build foundation to fix our immigration system.